Hi there and welcome to this video about Solid Thinking Compose. Today we're gonna take a look at Diffusion in two dimensions, which is the seventh step of the 12 steps to Navier-Stokes equations. Let's get into it. So I have the code already here, but first let's just quickly jump to the notebook of Lorena Baba. So we have the seventh step over here, which covers the 2D diffusion. We have this equation right over here and the only or one important thing to remember about diffusion is second order derivatives. Um, how you discretize them is covered in step three. So if you want to check that again, please um, see step number three. And yeah, steps are the same. So you, you first discretize your equation and then you solve for the next step in time. So we have just simple one equation. New in this case is a constant, not a variable. And you're solving for the next step in time and then you're ready to to import your code so um let's get right into this um we have first our variable declaration declarations which are the same as always we have um the initial conditions which are which is our uh, ones in both nx and ny um then we have the initial conditions which sets um a few points in uh, the middle to two and we are plotting the initial conditions and then we are setting uh, the boundaries and plotting them and now what's different with the diffusion step is that we are now using a function what is a function function is a or a method you could say um, it combines stacks of codes uh, of code which belongs together and is um, executed with some input values and gives some output values. So you have your uh, your function defined over here with the def syntax and you um, the syntax goes like this. You have your function name diffuse and then you have your brackets and he in here you have nt which uh, indicates a, a input variable. So whenever you want to call diffuse you have to set nt as a input variable and in this case it is the number of time steps how many you want to calculate for your diffusion so in here we have our initial conditions with with two and then we are calculating for n in range n t plus one so for n t plus one because zero time step uh, we are calculating uh, the time steps and we are doing that exactly as the steps before we copy our list into a temporary array we're calculating the next time step with the array syntax um, which is done over here and we're setting the boundary conditions um, on the edges because the edges we have i minus one or i plus one um, in this equation which um, is not possible on the edges because at the edge what what's plus one what's minus one if you're at the end what's plus one uh, you could make this boundary condition that the last element plus one equals the first element so but but it's not done here so we're just saying that the edges are never changing so they are keeping to be one and this is completely fine at the last step we plot uh, the results of the function so we're calculating nt time steps long and then we are plotting the result now the cool thing about it is if you just start here it doesn't give any output, but now you could use this diffuse function and it already tells you uh, it's a function, uh, it's a dynamically generated function, so no source code available. It is defined as diffuse and nt, so you're seeing what you're inputting here and let's, let's just say we have diffuse with an input value of 10. So you have your two images. The first image is your initial condition so those are the twos and now your diffusion terms so uh, one thing to, to mention is that with this line uh, we are setting the upper limit for c uh, to be 2.5 so it's always the same for each um, whatever time step we indicate for um, uh, we input for um, the function so if i use diffuse uh, let's say diffuse of 50 
the reference frame is the same and that's important because then you can compare this uh, 10 timestamps to 50 timestamps steps and even more for example 100 time steps yeah and you can see the diffusion happening and it's getting flatter and flatter all right that's about it for this video i hope you liked it and if you have any questions comments please leave them down below i'm happy to answer them and yeah thanks for watching